P4P is a supply side financing strategy which provide incentive to providers or health facilities based on their predefined targets. So they have to reach a target in order to get paid a certain amount of bonus. And uh, this amount is distributed at the facility, so 75% goes to the staff. While 25% of the funds are used for improving the health services, this can be used to buy maybe equipments, like in South Africa, they, they bought some um, like solar systems to improve the services where there is no light, there is no like electricity. So it is the health governing committee in the health facilities. They, they sit down together with the healthcare workers and they decide what they really want to do with the money. I think a P4P increases the facility delivery because it's one of the indicator which is being assessed. And during the client education, the service providers is also encourage the mothers to deliver at the hospital. It is important for the women to give birth in health facilities because it's where the complications can be identified as early as possible. Many countries in Africa have been implementing P4P programs over the last few years and when Tanzania decided to pilot a program in Pwani region, we saw this as an opportunity to design a robust evaluation uh, to determine the effects on the incentivized services and also other aspects of the health system. So we did a study in Pwani region and we also collected data from four control districts and we basically found that P4P led to a significant increase in the number of institutional deliveries in Pwani region by 8 percentage points. We also found a significant increase in the use of anti-malarial prophylaxis during antenatal care. Within our evaluation we wanted to go beyond looking at the effects on service utilisation and quality to also understand the system level changes that P4P might have brought about. Unlike other interventions, P4P operates at the level of the health system and it's expected to, you, to lead to population health improvements through changes in the system. So the RESIST research had three um, specific objectives. We wanted to understand the effects of P4P on facility resourcing and particularly the resource allocation process within facilities. We wanted to look at effects on health worker behaviour and uh, relationships with patients and also to look at the relationship within facilities and between different levels of the health system, so between health workers and their managers, and the accountability mechanisms therein. Uh, what we found in our study is that there was uh, health workers were motivated to allocate additional funds to the services which are related to P4P targets. Uh, which is more or less on maternal and child health services. Uh, what they did actually is to use that additional fund to purchase or to procure drugs which are related to P4P targets. And uh, basically what we found is uh, a significant reduction in drug stockouts, especially oxytocin which is used for delivery care. Uh, in that case, uh, there is an in improvement in terms of the resource availability, uh, particularly on drug, and, the whole, and also this has an implication in terms of the cost because now women are, li are less likely to be asked to pay for drug uh, when they come for services. So there is also a reduction in cost among patients when they come for, for delivery. What we found in our evaluation is that uh, health workers are responsive and respective to client uh, in one dimension. And also we found that there is an improvement or increase in provider kindness reported during delivery. Uh, this links to what we found that there is an increase in facility-based delivery, uh, which is partly explained by the improvement in provider kindness. And uh, for all this scenario highlights the importance uh, of quality of care in improving utilization of health services. Uh, 
Uh, in relation to accountability, what we found was that uh, P4P it tried to improve teamwork within the health facilities, among health workers of a particular health facility, and also between health, health workers with their managers at the district and district health managers with the higher level managers. The relationship that has been created, it has a broader potential to create a broader effect, especially on on the sustainability of the scheme as well as strengthen the health system to enable it to be able to address challenges that will be faced beyond the intervention because uh, if people will have a good relationship working together this has a potential for them to come up with uh, different strategies or common initiative to address the system challenges in the future. So I think our research has shown that P4P clearly has the potential for health systems improvement, but I would encourage governments to continue to monitor and evaluate the system level effects going forward. Currently, most P4P schemes are funded by donors. Uh, and it's really important for governments to ensure the financial sustainability of these programs by allocating their own funds. The main challenge, which is a major risk, is to sustain the program because we are now depending on the external funding. But we have already started discussing on that challenge, on how to address that challenge. And uh, the ministry is now uh, in the final stage of finalizing its health financing strategy. And within the health financing, uh, finance, health financing strategy, uh, there is a single health insurance fund. The single health insurance fund can save as a sustainable way of uh, finding result-based financing as this uh, a fund will be paying the health facilities depending on what they provide to their members.